where do you use AI on your LinkedIn profile? Let's have a little walk through. One caveat is that most of these features are for people who have a LinkedIn premium. And if you don't have LinkedIn premium yet, um, this will maybe urge you towards trying it out um, or maybe you're not interested in doing the AI thing. So let's have a look. Uh, so we go to our profiles, click on my profile. And the first place that the AI appears in your um, in here is writing your headline with AI. So I quite like my headline, LinkedIn marketing for B2B, podcaster, small business champion, and speaker. So let's have a look and see what it says if we do it with AI. The good thing is here, guys, that you get to go back and, and revert. So it says LinkedIn consultant at Louise Brogan Limited, which is my company name, um, sales navigator expert. I'm not a sales navigator expert. <laughs> so what's option two? LinkedIn trainer at Louise Brogan Limited, social networking specialist. So I don't like either of those. So I'm going to go back to my own headline. So that is um, where you can find out whether or not you want them to use the AI to write your headline. So let's just click and save in here. All right, the second place we're going to look at this is in your about section. So let's scroll down to the about section, click on the pen, and here we have write with AI. So again, I'm very fond of my about section, but let's see what it says if I click on write with AI. It takes a little bit more time for this because it is a few more characters than what we have. And I possibly should have saved what I have already because I like it. <laughs> so interestingly, it writes it in the third person and I always teach my clients to write their about section in the first person. So it says I have a master's in computing. Um, I, it says I'm certified in LinkedIn Sales Navigator. I'm not sure that's true. Um, and I work with businesses who want to raise their visibility and build genuine relationships. And there's a bit of a blurb about me on there. So that's, it's pretty good content to work from. Um, I don't like all this. I don't like having, there's seven, six and a half lines of text there without a break, which is not good for visual um interaction online so again i'm going to revert back to my own and i don't know what do you guys what do you think i prefer my own version in here so we we'll click on save so that is the headline and the about section in your profiles and the next place then is actually this is quite interesting um it's going to be in messaging so let's do um, linkedin messaging where this appears, and I have to do a little bit of digging around to get this, uh, because normally it's for people who are you're not connected to on LinkedIn. So we can click on the home page and I can look for somebody that I'm not connected to, if that might work. Um, it could be somebody in here. So Lorraine, let's pick on this person here. And if I want to send that person a message is not going to work. So because I'm not connected to this person, what I'm going to do is click on the message here. And again, this is because I have premium down here. You can see um, it says, so the subject is optional and then you can write with AI. So let's see, cold messages can be hard, but I like, I can help with the draft. <laughs> what would you like to do? And the only thing I can do with this is ask about job opportunities. So let's click on it. And this is what the AI has come up with. So it's basically saying hello and tells a little bit about what I specialize in and then talks about um, why I'd want to connect with them and are there any open positions available. Again, it's not bad um, if you are um, doing cold outreach to people. I think you know if you're looking for work, it could be something to test out. Again, I prefer to write my own messages, but you know, um, Every little helps and it is a good start. And then the third place is if we click on the plus sign, this one is interesting. So I have, there's a little video about this already on the channel. Uh, rewrite with AI. So let me write a message. Okay, so I'm typing this on a Friday. So I said, you know, time to take a break from work, taking the dog out for a walk and going to listen to some podcasts. And I'm asking my network if they have any podcasts they would recommend. So that's what I've written myself. And then I'm going to click on rewrite with AI. Let's see what they come up with. <laughs> it's, not, it's 
it's not that different, but it is different. So I, I don't ever call my dog uh, a furry friend. Um, again, there's no breaks in the text. Um, uh, but actually, I don't think that's too bad. I don't think that is too bad at all, that AI. So out of all the things we've tested today um, using AI on LinkedIn, I actually think that the post rewrites are probably the best um, tools that they have on here. Let's see what else they've got coming for us because we know that Microsoft, who owns LinkedIn, um, are heavily invested in AI. Let me know in the comments below if you are using AI, um, what you're using it for and are you going to use it on LinkedIn. Don't forget to grab your free copy of my LinkedIn workbook by going to louisebrogan.com forward slash workbook and download a free guide on how to update your profile, organize your content strategy and get visibility on LinkedIn.